Okay, <laughs> we're back with some more Them and Us, where we're going to take on the boss. I think that's literally all that we have left to do. There's a record on the floor. There's the angel plate that we're going to take. We've got very, very little supplies, which is going to make things very challenging for us. But, you know, it's not important. Right, so if we are actually going to take on the boss, we might want to actually take some heals with us. That would kind of be important. <laughs> you know, if we're actually going to fight the guy, we should take some healing. Because you can't just beat him without heals. That guy has too much health. And I think he still has too much health, even on normal mode. <laughs> okay, let's go to the portal so we can get stuff from the box. We can leave the medallion in there and everything. We don't necessarily need that anytime soon if we're just going to be fighting the boss. The annoying thing is that we saved without having the heals on us. And if we die... That sounded sped up for a moment. <laughs> But, um, yeah, okay. And we're not gonna... Mm, we're not gonna be knifing the boss. That's the other problematic thing that we have. Third problematic thing yet that we have is... This is my only heal. <laughs> Which is going to be an issue, isn't it? <laughs> uh, maybe I will take the knife with me, just in case, because we don't have any other heals. Like, it doesn't hurt. If we run out of ammo, we're going to need a knife, right? <laughs> it might come down to the fact that we might have to knife the boss to death. To finish him off. We've got lots of ammo, but it might not be enough. <laughs> I think the guy took a heck of a lot. It took everything that we had last time, if I remember. And we had more. He had far more. He had all of the ammo. <laughs> we had some magnums and everything when we took him on in his final form and took him down. So this might be a problem. There are probably more heals that we've left all over the floor in some places. I can't believe that that's the only heal that I got. It can't be. We must have more heals than that. Okay, knife. We don't want that gun equipped. We want this one equipped. Okay, we've got quite a few bullets. That's just a coffin. I guess nothing's coming to the coffins. No one's rising from their graves. Okay. Controller aim, which is going to make it harder to kill this guy. Run. <laughs> Keep running. Don't delete my run. That hits you. Bullshit. Okay, he got me with the embarrassment hit. Hello? <laughs> Keep running. Keep running. Okay, this circle is our home now. <laughs> if I don't get caught on it and it doesn't delete my run. Keep running. Keep running. <laughs> Okay. No. Okay, we've only got a double heal. We haven't got a triple. Keep moving. One shot at a time. Keep going. Ooh. 
Go! Oh, come on, I can't believe you got me. <laughs> Don't get caught on the physics! Moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Oh shit. Okay. Keep moving. Actually hit him with your bullets though. Ooh. Don't have enough heals. <laughs> Is that a heal on the floor? Yes. Keep running! Don't delete my run just because he got a little close. Just because he got a little close. Okay, we're running out of bullets. I'm just going slow. Move. Hey, no more bullets. Damn it. Keep running. Stop deleting my run. Now we need to make sure everything's a headshot. Stop deleting my run. Is he dead? Let's go! First go. Okay, now we have no more shotgun bullets. <laughs> For anything else deadly and dangerous. Which is a problem. Because through that green door, there's a guy that's a cultist in red, and I think there might be several cultists in there. We should absolutely go save. Now that we killed him. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, take the blue crystal as well. And you know, all of these crystals that we're carrying. <laughs> Yeah, we got four of them, and we've got six inventory slots. I guess whilst we haven't got shotgun bullets, I don't need to carry a shotgun. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's one thing that we won't be needing at the moment. I don't know if there's anything else in that side door if we haven't triggered the thing from the ceiling. Okay. Now that was a lot better than I thought it was going to go. I thought we might have to do that a few times, to be honest. Everything's all on the top floor to the left there. I don't know what those things are. One's an ointment. There's some sticky spray in there. That thing over there is a record. There's probably records in every one of those save rooms, let's face it. <laughs> Probably left records in all of those save rooms just on the floor that we should have, you know, transferred into the box. But it's not as easy as that, is it? Especially with very limited inventory space, we just don't have the space to carry things around. Maybe we might get some ammo. Okay, the crystals are all in here. We've got 30 seconds in the final dome. Do I need the lighter? We might need the lighter. But also, I mean, like I said, I can't not take the shotgun though, right? 
Okay, we should go to one of the other save rooms that <laughs> we've left the thing on the floor. And save. Because we're running out of saves as well, you know. There's probably a whole hot heap of records all over the mansion somewhere. <laughs> we've used them effectively. Not too many. Not too many, but effectively. Okay, great. Let's do this. That, you know, heels <laughs> might also be on the floor in various parts of the mansion that we've left everywhere as well. I can't believe that we would use up all of the heels. But maybe we did. <laughs> That's the chance that we did. Part of me feels like it would be a shame to overwrite the music that's playing. Um, we're not going back to that fixed camera run in any sense. If we're doing it, we would do it from scratch. What's this one then? <laughs> I don't know what that song is. I wonder if... Curly probably knows. <laughs> uh, ointment. An ointment. Okay, right, let's go. We might need the lighter. I don't think we do, because we're not going that way. So we might not need it. I don't think we're going towards the end zone, where we needed to light everything up more ointments. <laughs> we'll just pick up all of the ointment that's on the floor. It's all good. I probably could have opened that door now. I don't know if it does open. Door was locked by someone. Yeah, it's probably locked on the other side and I can probably open that now. Considering we've killed the boss there. I would imagine. I would imagine we should have <laughs> not run round the long way back. We should have just gone through that door, right? That would have probably been the smart thing to do. But oh well. <laughs> okay. Perfect music to run around in circles too, right? <laughs> and if we'd have taken an ointment with us, we could use them on those double bandages that were in here as well. And, you know, maybe had a bit more health. But when we need those crystals, we're going to need four inventory slots. Left a key here, you unlock the door. I hear a dog. <laughs> Should I be worried that I heard a dog growling? Locked. I mean, I can't see the red cultist over there through this, but, you know, from above you, you usually can. And maybe... Can you see it? Maybe he isn't. Maybe because it's a different path, he's not going to be here. Fountain's not working. That's fine. This way is locked. So we're not even going to. Where you would use the... Uh... <laughs> Where you would use the lighter. Something round can be placed here. Okay. Is there going to be a dog on the other side of this fence? Okay, also, because we haven't started the demons teleporting in, I'm going to assume this area of the garden is not going to have demons teleporting in. And also, because we just killed the gravekeeper, grave robber, we're not going to be assaulted by him in this particular room. Hopefully. <laughs> 
Because we just killed him back there. There's no way we have to fight him again. Right. Right. Bum 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 bada la la lum. Bum bum bada da da dum. Bum bum bada da da dum. Okay. Damn it, you wait until I look around, don't you? You are too clever, dog. <laughs> you waited till I started looking around. There's another dog coming. I don't have many heals. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dog down. I think earlier as well. Like, when we're in the outside garden, I take advantage and clear this out, don't I? Fuck. You smell me. You smell me too much. That should have hit you! I'll take it. <laughs> you know, I peek over the fence from the other side of the garden and I start ambushing them before they can... before we ever go anywhere near this area in my other playthrough of this. Eight werewolves. Saving? Then what is me saving on the save points? If this is saving, this must be an auto save. I mean, I guess they auto save. Did... I heard an echo of myself there. That was weird. <laughs> I guess if um, they auto save here because the gravekeeper would normally come out and murder you, and it would be very dangerous, so they give you an auto save to be nice. And all of the demons that randomly appear. That's it. Stop still. There's a zombie coming. See him. Dog. Dog has run away for miles. That hit you, bullshit. I hear static radio silent till. <laughs> you just lost an ear there, doggy. <laughs> I shot your ear off. Not you. Skimmed him. Didn't quite get him. I'll take that. Yeah, the Silent Hill radio is definitely playing in here. Door is locked. Shotgun shells. We're not even allowed in there to get those shotgun shells. All the save. I feel cheated. <laughs> it's fine. I mean, that's another way of preventing us accidentally spawning demons. Just don't let us in the areas that the demons would even potentially even spawn. What is that? And if you don't want to get up. That's fine by me. I'll use one bullet on you. Like, we've knifed you enough to be surely dead to one bullet no matter what. <laughs> Could have finished him off with a knife, but, you know, we are kind of low on health, and I should use the heal that we got. 
with the ointment. But, you know, I kind of want to see if we can get another bit of bandage before we waste it, you know? That would be nice. Okay, there's a greenhouse. There's all the zombies from earlier in the game. But we would have naturally cleared out. Or avoided. Like, we wouldn't have necessarily cleared them out. Let's face it, I'd run around them all. We wouldn't have. <laughs> we would have ran around them all earlier. Yeah, hi, you are very noisy. <laughs> I also thought you were a dog, maybe, with the noise that you're making. The amount of noise you're making, I thought you were a dog. Where are you going, sir? <laughs> Where do you think you're going? Hi. You're very purple. What happened to you? Okay, we've got plenty of bullets. I can afford to use them. Okay. Demons aren't going to randomly teleport in. Because we haven't activated them. <laughs> Which is nice. So not have to worry about those demons. Uh, gatekeeper notes. Um, all the initiatives and kids myself are slowly getting used to things on the island. The grave keeper is the gatekeeper. Gatekeeper is the result of this change. Well, he's dead now. None of those are anything that we can smash. Yeah, it's so much nicer that there's no demons at all. I smashed this. How did it not recognize that? Okay, perfect. That's exactly why we didn't do this. Because it's a one that combines with this into a three. And then we can take the ointments. Combine it. And now we have the perfect thing. And honestly, we're about the right health to benefit from it completely. In fact, there's only a minuscule minutia of non-heal. Everything is perfect. Okay. I'm not going to kill a crawler. <laughs> the, the least scary thing in the world is a little crawly zombie. Nothing to worry about with him at all. Okay, there is more loot though. More bullets. Strange disappearances, the box of Plutus. More bandages. Okay, we're getting nicely resupplied. Just the little crawling guy. His hand's still animated obviously it's still undead like the rest of him i could have just ran around him let's face it we didn't even need to do that you got a bit of swagger to you oh that didn't kill you <laughs> I didn't clear these guys out when I played it the first time through. You know, <laughs> just run around them all. We don't need to clear them out. Wait, there's a lot of zombies coming. <laughs> out of the shadows. There's a key in these flower pots. We know that. I like how slowly we wake them up with the knife. It's 
slowly but surely, I had to make certain that one bullet, because he was almost dead. <laughs> Just had to make sure that one last bullet counted. Is that a zombie or is that a real human? <laughs> Okay, can't even interact with the statues to move them. Which is interesting. Door is locked again! Someone removed the medallion from inside! Funny, because we never went through it. We did unlock it, I guess, but... At the same time. We are playing a completely different path where we didn't go through that door. Watching the bush wave in the wind and thinking, is someone coming up the stairs? Should I be worried? Newspaper. More bandages. Bandages on my legs and my arms for you. You're probably going to wake up. I mean, honestly, when we've killed them that much and they're standing up, it's only because they're completing the standing up animation that they're not dying, isn't it? Uh, something can be placed here if only we had the mirror. But obviously it wouldn't make much of a difference, considering... <laughs> the light isn't shining through to it. Any secret guys down here to worry about? No? I mean, I'm gonna go get the bandages that were at the top of the stairs. <laughs> we will stock up and we will put them in the box. Does that make sense? That's just a statue over there, there's not a zombie. Surprised the guy that came out that one bit didn't start paying more attention to me. Honestly, what happens if I combine these? Cut. Okay. So you literally have to find a single bandage to combine with the double bandages in order to make a triple bandage. Okay, that way is already open. That way is locked from the other side on the right. Which is interesting. But I guess the way is already open because we can't use the mirror to open it. He's all the way back there. I can hear his bulky feet. Though he got a little interested after I got into his area, didn't he? <laughs> He's like, you took my gun, I must come back for you, bullets, whatever. Anyone else, Mr. Squelchy? I don't know if there is anything over there. I say, come on, I'm over here. Come on. Yeah, man. Gonna try and save a little bit of ammo. That's it. You guys come all the way over here. I'm all the way over here. Honestly, I've left them close enough to the guard in the area. Like, it's just a locked door, isn't it? No loot or anything. It's just a locked door. Hi. <laughs> Part of me wants to go and explore over there. Where the um, other story progresses. 
You know, it's like going to the back and fight the thing. Did we need to do that before doing the thing? And also, there's the thing in here, which we need the sapphire key to do. You're not going to come and attack me, are you? Okay, well, we found a save disk. That's the main thing. Okay, we can actually save. And then I can make decisions. You know, I can put all the stuff into the box. I can go the way down there, but I can also hop the fence, which might do other things. You know, is this a path of choices? that could be extra things on top of the secret ending. Maybe there's a super, super secret ending. Like going down this path and not, you know, finishing it where it ends. I'd imagine there should be, right? There's probably a go all the way to the end, end with this path as well. Two bandages on the floor. Right, I'm gonna go pick up the two bandages outside. Come back in. Bum, 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 ba, da, 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 dum. Then, honestly, we don't necessarily need the shotgun. What we need is the four crystals. <laughs> and then if we're saved at that point, I can consider other things like going and hopping over that fence. Cause like, what's up with the door lock from the other side? Why would that exist like that, unless there was something that we could do with that? There has to be some special thing that we can do with that, right? Otherwise, why would that be like that? <laughs> it wouldn't. It would be all completely locked. There would be no reason to go over there. Okay, that, that. I'm gonna save without the crystals in hand, but I should take shotgun in hand if we're gonna do that, just because it makes more sense to like have it equipped, even though we're gonna want to equip it to do the other thing. Right. Honestly, yeah, we overwrite this one. It makes no difference to the other save. It does change the music in here though. Right, crystal. I pressed down to go to the next slot and it, you know, right, it's okay. What it did change is the music in the save room from the to something a little lower tempo. <laughs> That's fine. We can handle that. Okay. There's probably some ambushes in the bushes. But yeah, normally I wouldn't even bother shooting him. I would just run around. Don't ask me why I'm picking it up and then dropping it again. It's not like the loot is going to be remotely important. <laughs> right. The mirror is in that corner, right? Normally. So is that side open? No, there's just a zombie. Right, go through. We might just be able to go straight to the ending. Potentially. Potentially. <laughs> might. Don't know. We'll see what the doors are out here. Bum bum ba da 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 dum. Bum bum ba da 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 dum. Bum bum ba da 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 dum. Okay. Everything is unlocked. She's guarding some ammo. Don't need to fight any of you guys. That's interesting. I pressed the flashlight button and she reloads, but I thought the gun was already fully loaded. Is there a doggo down here? 
bomb base. And a tall guy. <laughs> okay, it didn't delete my run doing the movements past things. Okay. Honestly, there's probably an extra shotgun still. Uh, the door is locked. Strange shape on the door, but there are the crystal holes. And I remember this one because we were here at a time. And I was like, hmm, how do we ever open this? Okay, so this is where things are different again. He doesn't have the shotgun at all. I guess that's why all the zombies are out everywhere. The basement's open still. Like, the amount of things that are open for this being an ending path suggests there's got to be some other secret extra path, hasn't there? To just go to the ending. And, and there was a door at the very, very end that we couldn't open either that maybe is open in this path. Maybe. <laughs> bum, bum, ba, da, 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 dum. Okay, so we're on the other side of the gates, which is right at the end of the game. Where she's like, I shouldn't go back through that door when you do eventually get here right at the end of the game. And maybe... Like, we are on this side of the fence when we first see this. And then the guy finds the demons and we throw him the thing. The fountain is not working, but it's full of water. Suspicious. <laughs> Looks like it is working, you know? Okay. So I was expecting to run into the guy there. Considering, you know, we're at the point of the plot where we see him on this side of the fence and we're on the other, but now we're on the right side of the fence to see him. Did I? I didn't bring a gun, of course, because we don't have the infantry space for the knife. There is no boat, because we didn't boat over here. That is a good touch, at least. They haven't left the boat there. Okay, we're not being chased by cultists, because they're unaware that we're here. Anything else different over here? The music suddenly ending jarring. Um, the gate isn't open. Okay. We opened the gate. We crossed the bridge. Crumbling noises? Okay. Blood. This is where we find out the other islands. And it is. The map is glowing, but we can't interact with it to be like, oh look, there's another secret island. Do we not talk to the guy at all? And here's where the helicopter is, usually. That's, that's not a helicopter. <laughs> there are barrels here that look like they can be broken. That's a fifth element taxi. <laughs> Some kind of strange hover taxi from the fifth element. There's a guy wearing an orange tank top inside. Lilu Multipass. Do you want to enter inside the taxi? Take me away, Corbin Dallas. <laughs> Back to the future! I know it's not that movie, but... <laughs>
Corbin Dallas just sat there waiting for us. Hello. My name is not important, Lilu Multipass. I come from the future. From the year 22 foot, Corbin Dallas. You are our only hope to survive. What, what the hell is going on? There's no time for this. You've seen a little girl, black hair. Time is not important, only life is. Your daughter is waiting for you. Lilu Multipass. <laughs> The universe explodes into life. <laughs> Time is not important, only life is. Weird that Corbin Dallas would be saying that and taking us there. Like, you know, at fourth wall breaking fifth element. Like, you know, when he saves the world already, he knows that. He doesn't know that at the beginning. And, um, yeah. That's weird. <laughs> Her distant, distant, distant granddaughters are maybe the fifth element? But then why would she be needed in the future? Because, you know, she's not the fifth element. Unless she was, and she got, you know, that's just her arm that survives. What is the frame rate on this end sequence? Normal, over the shoulder, traveller ending, rating C. Writing to leaderboard, traveller ending. Seven saves, two hours, 41. A glimpse of the future. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so that's another ending. Thank you for playing. You've unlocked a new costume. Okay, continue. <laughs> continue. But I'm curious about those other side paths there. Um, over the shoulder round three. That's fine. That's perfectly acceptable. Makes exactly the same difference. It's that we've got a cleared additional ending. Right, the thing is, if I load back in, it doesn't make a difference. It just recognizes on the overall leaderboard that we've done extra endings. But I am curious about what if I go down these side paths with the doors that are clearly open to us. Okay, we'll keep our stuff. We don't need to go to the um, side stuff anymore. So we don't necessarily need these crystals. But it is interesting that we have the option to do that. What did I unlock? Retro sci-fi casual? Please wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty similar, but I guess this is the fifth element outfit. <laughs> I guess we're gonna run around in the fifth element outfit now. It's not the fifth element outfit though. The fifth element outfit is very different. You know, with the straps that barely show anything. It's probably the most memorable one. <laughs> barely hide anything. Yeah, they don't show anything, but they also don't hide a lot, do they? They, they probably would show a lot more on this lady though, but... <laughs> That's beside the point. Okay, right. So there are clearly additional things that we can do. Like, if I go to the side area to the right there, over there, like, the door is unlockable from the other side, but I'm going to go to the garden regardless and leave that bit, because we had to, in the normal path, jump over that first, right? So if I don't jump over that first, 
things are different. If I come round the back instead. The mirror's still back here. Jesus. The mirror is gone. The mirror is gone. You have an item. What is that item? Is some of the one? Probably. The moonlight shines through. Yeah, that was worth it. <laughs> okay. On the other side of the door, that lady is hiding some shotgun bullets. Guarding them. We want those. We're not necessarily going to set off the stuff in the basement. Blue door, which we needed the lighter to burn down. But I don't know if we need to go that way. Portal. If only I could get in that portal through a different mean. That door is locked from the other side. Too many of you are all coming at the same time now. Keep running, don't delete my run. Dogs are that way. Like, I don't know if that fence was open. The fence might be open, honestly. Okay, you've all stopped moving and running. I appreciate that. I will give you a wide berth. You're just slowly spinning trying to get me. <laughs> okay, I'll take care of the crawler. Honestly, you are just in the way. That guy wasn't crawling, though, last time that we came through here, when we just ran straight to the end. So it's interesting that he's crawling now. Okay, anything at the end of the pier. And then I should check out the basements, honestly. Where the hell am I? Is this an island? Because maybe the basement area is open. I'm concerned about the dog. 64 bullets, there's loads of bullets. They're not coming from me. Where's the dog? Wow. You missed, huh? He tried! He zoomies! You have the zoomies. That was worth the aim. <laughs> Wait, maybe the door's just open. Opium. Okay, not even suggesting anything. I don't know. It breaks open when the demons come out, doesn't it? That's what happens. This room, not full of zombies, but it becomes full of zombies when we take the shotgun, but considering we've already got a shotgun... They're not going to wake up. Okay. I could have bought the crystals and put in the door. I'm surprised we didn't get to speak to the other guy, though. I really thought we would encounter the other guy through that door and be like, hey, you know, we're on the same side of the room as you now. Really, I can't leave anything up there. I guess it might fall through the cracks. Okay. <laughs> and then it's like you can't leave it here after I run all the way down to leave it. His wounds glowed weirdly there. Right. 
Basement. What awaits us in the basement? There's a very good chance you can just go the whole of the rest of the game. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm interested. Curious. Don't have a map for this area. There's some extra bullets. The door's locked. The symbol's above the door. There's no guy down here. No guy down here to kill. I don't know if he was able to be killed at that point or not. I'm not sure. I don't quite remember. But I feel like he should have been at that point, right? He probably wasn't. Okay, he did weird t pose. <laughs> Okay, so. Progress there is just going to the basement and starting the whole ritual thing. And you. Back up the stairs with you. <laughs> Not going to be nice and just let us pass, is he? Okay, well, he didn't exist. He didn't spawn in for some reason earlier. Now he's back. Okay, his other arm flailing wildly. Hi. <laughs> the arm was doing some interesting things. I don't know if this guy even smells us. Okay, he smells us. <laughs> he sure does smell us. And he went, mmm, that smells delicious. Whoops. Hi, dog. I knew there was a dog. There aren't normally extra zombies, though, are there? There aren't normally extra zombies, and I saw you. And I know that there's an extra dog, and I saw him, but I, can't, I don't know which side he went. He's hiding at the back. Like a wind. The dogs like to jump out on me. Okay, he is all the way to the left. And they are slowly coming up towards us. Hi. There's two dogs. Too dark! Never mind two dogs. Come on then, dogs. Ow. Ow. I think there's some more shotgun shells in there. Which I kind of do want. Kind of want the shotgun shells. I You're a crispy boy. Why are you all taking five bullets? What's up with this? Is it because I've got a lot of bullets? Corpse note. Like firing at a phantom. Well, everything's undead, isn't it?
That lady is eager for attention, isn't she? Kissing away. Hi. You came all this way to see me, huh? You seem to be missing your neck. <laughs> that seemed to go right through you. I know I don't need to kill her. But she was begging for my attention. Too much. There's dogs on the other side of that wall. Or we're not going to deal with them. Okay. Killed all the dogs. Killed all the dogs. There's a save record. Locked, but I can't see a keyhole. A mechanism. That is on the other side. Okay, this door is also locked. Going to need a key. Like, is it just that we can just continue the whole rest of the game? And does it make a difference if we go to the ending? Bones appear very fresh. I brew them a cup of tea. There's some ropes that we need to burn. Wait, do I need petrol? Old and dry. It probably just burns with fire. Kinda of good on everything else. That is a save record. Okay. Nor the dog noises. They're not on this side of the fence. Yeah, the fact that you are just able to continue and the fact that they have gone out the way to lock off other things suggests to me that it might lead to a secret. Like another, another secret. At, right at the very end. If we go all the way to that very end where that very, very last locked door was... I imagine there has to be something there. Why else would this exist to let you do this? They would just lock everything else off entirely. Because things are unlocked and locked differently here in this route. So something has to be different. Um, lighter. How are we for health? We're okay for health. And then we've got a fair amount of shotgun bullets. I think it only takes like three for that boss thing. Looks like someone is still sleeping in this bed. That always been the case? <laughs> Has that always been the case? Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, the fact that things are different, and we've got the way into the house open and everything. I don't know. This is its own separate path. It's its own separate thing. It's just... A shame that it doesn't give her any special memories. You know, literally no special memories for this playthrough with this path. That is something that they should have done. They should have made its own memories that have its own features. It would have been good. Because there seems to be a lot of memories that we didn't get, having played through the one way. 
this doesn't seem to unlock any. And I would think that you should get the ability to unlock all of the memories, and that would include going this special path. But what do I know? Bum, bum, ba, da, 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 dum. Okay, right. I don't know if I even picked up the lighter. Like an idiot. I didn't, did I? <laughs> Like an idiot, I didn't. No, oh, I did. Okay, it's fine. I'm going to go back, put all of the crystals into the crystal dome, and then come back here, and then we save. Just because if we're doing it special different, you know... We should have the door open for the guy. And then who knows what happened, right? <laughs> who knows what happens if we've already opened the route for him when we encounter him. Maybe we can go talk to him then. Who knows? Who knows? It would be interesting to see what difference that might make. It might make absolutely no difference whatsoever, but we might as well go put the crystals in it. Might as well. Now, part of it might be you save the crystals till later. Who knows? Who knows? But, you know, we're trying different things here. New territory, and I don't know if people have tried this. I don't know. I don't know if anyone has ever gone and plays on further than that ending, because they might go, oh, that's the ending, and stop there. They might just stop there. We've got lots of heals now. Loads. Absolutely loads. Yeah, I feel like they might just stop there at the Traveler's ending. I don't know if there's any reason to keep playing. But the one door at the very, very, very end, you know, that one in particular to me says, maybe I need to do this. <laughs> I don't know if there is, but maybe, maybe there is a reason to do this. But again, you know, we haven't actually jumped over there to that zombie either. Don't remember what that zombie had on it. It was clearly something very important. It was a key, wasn't it? It was probably the key to the gates, and I probably could open the red gate with that. Perhaps. <laughs> Maybe that's how we get the item that's in that maze. Maybe you just jump over the fence and get it from the guy there. I don't know. I don't know. But like I said, different territory here. We're doing things a little wackily. I guess we can pick up the heel that we left on the floor and carry back with us as well. As we plug all of the things in and she just knows which colour goes in which corner, ironically. Whilst we have unlocked it, we're not going through it. <laughs> that is not our choice. And I guess the fact that we're carrying a heal, I can carry that heal through me to the boss, can't I? I can carry that through with me. But maybe the demon won't even spawn in. Who knows what difference we make here? <laughs> It's on travelled territory. Definitely hearing loud dog noises. Definitely untraversed territory. Bum bum ba da 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 dum. Bum bum ba da 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 dum. 
Um, um, ba -da 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 -dum. I don't know if we need petrol. You know. Part of me feels like I need petroleum. But I could be wrong. Okay, and the fact that we killed the gravekeeper. The gatekeeper. Says to me. At least you can't use that right now. Says to me I need petrol. <laughs> I did need petrol. Now where did I get the petrol from? Maybe the petrol is in the other side of the fence from that thing. Maybe we just can't do anything else. But surely the petrol is spawned. I just don't remember where we get it. <laughs> surely they haven't just removed the petrol. From the game. Probably over the fence. Or at least we'll get a key that gives us the ability to get to the petrol or something. I don't know. If not, like, you know, these routes being open, that makes sense. These routes being open and accessible don't make sense unless we could get the petrol. And that needs a key. Not just locked for no reason. Box doesn't look too heavy. Okay, smart zombie. Oh, she's got a gun, I need to run! For my life. <laughs> Do I need to inspect the fence first? But we can't inspect the fence. He doesn't care about jumping over the fence to get to that. Because it's pointless to her, because it's not her path. The box doesn't look too heavy, but she's not going to do anything about it. Red sapphire above the lock. Hmm. Where, oh, where is the petrol? I might just look because, like, I need to confirm. Um, opposite end of where the paper greenhouse keys were found. There's some rope on a door referring to old and dry. So the fluid is used to soak the thing. Yeah, but what, where was the... <laughs> where was that? At the opposite end of where the paper greenhouse keys were found. Where is the... Greenhouse key. Greenhouse key. The key to the greenhouse is in Emma's possession. Enter the room window, look out on the greenhouse, then subdue her. Hang on. What? 
Who's the heck is Emma? <laughs> it says that's Thornbridge Manor. That's not what I'm looking. In them and news, them and us. Find yourself basement pool death want that's not useful. Right. I will go on a whole last walk through. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the entire house, we've been through the entire house. We don't need to know the entire house. The entire house, the entire house, the entire house. Zombie dogs. That's still in the house. Still in the house. My god, your thing is. Okay, um. Floor in the rear end. Do -do -do -do. Previously explored area. You don't. Door covered in dry rope. Where's the oils? Oil. Oilers, that's not what I care about. Get in the burning oil. Um, head down the narrow path behind the green emerald door. Box it. Um, two zombies. Find a small clearing with the burning oil on a table. They're meant to be on here? <laughs> Head left on the magic door of the square clearing at the end. I think the oil's meant to be on here. Which means we can't do anything. Yeah, we, we can't go to the sewers, because the... Want to make sure you grab the burning oil? If only... It existed in this path, huh? It should be on that table. That's unfortunate. Why then have any other means of traversing? Why? <laughs> That's a bit silly if we can't do any other progress, if that's the only means. Okay, well, we've got some bullets left. And I don't know if it's possible. It's probably not going to be possible. Because, obviously, we have um, not gone down the main path. And maybe you need to kill absolutely everything in the entire game. But, uh, you know, I don't know if outside of the house counselors in the mansion, killing everything in the mansion. Yeah, that's a bit dumb. Why then leave that as a teaser as though we can do something if you've got rid of the oil and we can't? Like, it just teased me for no reason. Teased me for no reason. You're a boomer. So I don't want to finish you off. <laughs> you became immortal and my bullets were going through you. You're going to explode, aren't you? Or not? <laughs> His head did. Okay, it's interesting that these... We can attack even though, you know, you can't normally until they're awake and killing you after you've taken the shotgun. Anyone else hiding in the shadows back here? Rasmus? Or Rasmus anywhere? 
<laughs> okay. Well, we're going to go clear out whatever zombies we've left alive. Kill everything. Oh, no. Oh, no. You can't. <laughs> I just remembered how full of cultists the basement is. <laughs> and how that is not going to happen. It's not going to happen, is it? The basement is full of cultists. We can't kill them all. Can't possibly. There's no way. Yeah, there's supposed to be a uh, lighter fluid there. That sucks. So the other thing in the maze... Turns out there's actually meant to be some other way of doing that then. And that other locked door at the very, very end. What's that about? I wonder what that's about and how we do that. I... You need to be quicker and not be distracting me while the guy behind me eats me. I know your game. <laughs> Your game would distract me for your en friend to eat me. This doesn't have lighter fluid on it. Hi, your friend tried to make sure that you could eat me. He tried his very, very best. Purple gates, that you get from killing the gravekeeper in the rematch in here. Okay. We're just gonna check absolutely every table. That table has nothing. I mean, there's definitely nothing back here. We checked everything in there. I'm not gonna go run through all that again. Like, the fact that they locked that one door... Like, that one shed that would have shotgun bullets and a save in it. Why lock that one in particular, but not the other routes down here? And why leave doors that go, hey, it opens from the other side? Well, so we're going inside the house, so what am I doing? <laughs> why do that? Unless you're suggesting there is a way. Like, it's literally teased me with something that is impossible. And other doors that would normally be open are locked. Have been prevented from going down, so why leave those ones unlocked? Why do that? Why tease me like that, game? Why make it look like there's an extra way that we can go when there isn't? It's a little mean. I mean, there aren't that many extra zombies in the mansion. There's the cultists up the top of the stairs and there's all the ones in the basement. And I think we've kind of cleared most of it out. We have got shotgun bullets as well, actually, haven't we? We have got shotgun bullets. We can do this. Yeah, we got plenty of shotgun bullets. Not a problem. That door is interestingly unlocked as well. Not a problem. If I'd have kept that key that unlocks the door, maybe... It unlocked a whole path of extra possibilities. <laughs> Maybe we needed to specifically hold on to that key until after a certain phase, you know, until after we've been in the basement. The elevator's not working, no electricity. Well, it's not about that, is it? 
It's not about that. There's a zombie hiding back in here. We need to kill. That I left alive. Because I was like, we don't need to kill him. Okay, you got me. I was like, I'm not even running away. I mean, at the very least, we got to wear the outfit a bit. Okay, he dead. <laughs> One down. Several more to go. Okay, what else do we need? We need the basement. There's the cultist upstairs. I think we've kind of cleared most of the other zombies. That door's locked. Everything on that side is clear. There's stuff, but upstairs. Think there's a zombie. There's at least one in here that we've left. He needs to die. Okay, he really didn't want to move into my bullets. Four bullets and you're still alive, Jesus. Yeah, that's what I thought. I should go into that room, really, shouldn't I? <laughs> I should. There might be good stuff in that. We didn't ever go into it. Normally the zombies come out when you... Smash that thing down. And again, you know, maybe it won't let us get the you've killed everything in the mansion achievement without that. But you would think, because of all of the cultists hiding in the basement, you haven't truly killed everything in the mansion unless you've gone into this mode. While we were doing that, it sounded like something was walking around. Okay, he doesn't necessarily die even though he takes squishy damage. It's silly that I can't just shoot the chandelier down. Because that would be good. <laughs> Too good, wouldn't it? Definitely heard zombie noise. Distantly. Okay, upstairs. There's a guy upstairs and there's a cultist upstairs. And then there's the kitchen and then there's the basement. And then there might be the guy in the bathroom that we might have left. And then that should be every zombie in the mansion. Inside of it. Which, you know, if they are counting that as having to be the case. We've killed all of that. Things that we can do in this path. And in the other path, you can't kill the cultists in the basement. So... That's just a normal door. So you would have to do this to even kill the ones in the basement. So this has to be the way to kill everything in the house. Right. This is the only way to kill every thing in the house. But I can't believe they bait as though you can do the thing, but you can't do the thing. Such a tease. Such a tease. Why am I hearing dogs? Why are there dog noises in here? There shouldn't be dog noises in that room, right? Cultist in here. Oh, there's one downstairs as well. Okay, 
Okay. It's unlocking him. He's a little dizzy. Damn it. Didn't want to waste my shotgun bullet. Because we need them for the basement ones. Okay, he doesn't know where we are. You ran at that moment precisely to dodge that. He's like, I am a fairground ride. Shoot me if you can. Stop speeding up, you cheesy ofo. You've got a very, very holy head. Stop moving. Stop moving. I know you want to not be shot. <laughs> but come on. Stop this. There you go. Oh, well, that means that the guy that we shot up here was literally probably one bullet left from F. An old key. With that old key, I can probably open the gate. We can't go into the drawer and get whatever's in the drawer. Ritual knife. You didn't drop anything. Plus... We can... Open the gates. The only thing left that we can open. So we might as well. Okay, we've killed them cultists. I don't understand their meaning. There's only basement cultists left. Own gun bolts, but we can't utilize them. Right. Guy in here. Zombie. Handle can't be lit anymore. Okay. Well, he doesn't exist anymore. What are those? Disgusting ass bugs. Uh, blades like rusty and old and human blood. Okay, so we don't need to worry about that guy. That guy's been. Oh, there's two guys in the kitchen. Damn it. I no longer believe that we have enough ammo. Four. Right, I'm gonna leave the kitchen guys to last. The real challenge is the basement guys. Those guys can wait till last. I'm also gonna check out this door. See if there's any more zombies spawned out here. Or any items. There might be a thing at the back. As if we can't get the petrol. I think nothing. Just a note. Oh, is that a new note? <laughs> there's no way that I missed that last time we were in there, right? Right. <laughs> bum bum bum. Hey. 
I'm gonna go see if we can use the old key. Honestly. That seems like the best use of our time. We found an old key. Maybe we can open this side gate for no reason. Get back into the spawn room. See what's going on in there. Maybe there's some petrol. <laughs> Maybe they just moved it. Locked. There's nothing more. I can't use the old key on the gate that opens with the old key because you locked it. Minus one. <laughs> Honestly, I found another old key that opens them. Minus one. That should have worked. That should have worked. There's no way that that doesn't work, because that was literally the key. Okay, any zombies hiding up here that we've left alive? Doesn't look like it. Okay, we should take a heal, at the very least, if we're going to try the basement. Challenge! Okay, if they all line up nicely, the shotgun shells will honestly do a lot more work, but less, perhaps. Or they will just eat us and eat our face, which is probably not what we want to do. Hey, can't unleash the dog. Hey. Large bandage ointments. How is our health? Honestly, if we're doing the challenge, I might as well ointment it. <laughs> and then we might as well heal up to full and then knife and take the last heal that we got, the last bullets that we got. There's some normal zombies between us and the cultists in the basement. And then maybe we clear them all out. Maybe. <laughs> but that will be every enemy that we can get to in this mode. And that should, in my opinion, count as clearing the mansion. Because we've killed everything that we can possibly get to. Obviously, the basement and the two in the kitchen, but the two in the kitchen are easier than the basement. We'll leave them to last. Literally is here. Wow, oh, he got me. And he's here again. Wait, this is the last of our pistol rounds. Another exploder. That was in his ear and into his brain. Don't read 7 640 dinner time. Okay, nothing else. We've got five shotgun shells, eight bullets, and like eight pistol rounds. Cultist, did they take two or three bullets with a shotgun? It might be three, actually. Combine. I don't know if we got this, you know. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> You're red cultists. Ooh, I mean, if you want to hit them with the axes. Here, red cultists. Oh, 
Stop hiding. We even missed that guy. They have spread out. They're being too clever. Right now. Get off my thing. I mean, he hits him with the axe. Hit them with the axe. Stop deleting my run! There's a normal zombie in here. Red guy had loot last time. Red guy's always have loot, right? No! I don't think we got this. I think we're dead. <sighs> Did that guy have any loot? It's the real question. And it's one that's gonna go unanswered. Because <laughs> that's why we're gonna call it a day. Because there seems to be no ending. And we don't have enough ammo, really. I mean, I could try it and focus him, but my god. But he's red. He's a red cultist. Does he have loot? <laughs> Does he have loot? But that's where it's the end of them and us, for us. Um, extra content, epilogue for us, Halloween Fright. Right, so epilogues. Ending one would be do it without the thing. You unlock the secret ending, that was that one. That's the normal one. That's the flyaway. Was Corbin Dallas not a number three? Or a number five? Because that's just flyaway on the helicopter. Um, after finding a daughter and defeating the Master of Minions. That's the full ending. After finding out what happened to his partner, Adrian seen some of the things they fought on the, the this whole Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I'm confused. Some people have completed the game in exactly half an hour. Seems a bit weird. Okay. Them and us. First person shooter. Them and us. We did 10 with rank 3635. Yeah, the, the cheetahs at the top all with half an hour completion. Literally. Easy modes, another half an hour cheetah. Normal modes, more half an hour cheetahs. 10 hours, 35 hard modes, we haven't done. Professional modes, half an hour cheetahs again. Fixed camera modes, no half an hour cheetahs, but there's a half an hour cheetah on there. Half an hour cheetahs on there. Professional, no damage. Okay. Some people have done no damage over the shoulder. Very few people have done it with the fixed cameras. Because it's impossible. Traveler ending. 2 hour 41. There's a 15 minute traveler ending. Not a cheater. There's a half an hour cheater. But they... <laughs> people have done it quicker than the half an hour cheater. First person shooter and then them and us. So yeah, I don't know what the other endings are then if the traveller ending isn't the other endings. <laughs> so there's still an ending one and an ending five. One, I think, is you don't even get the thing that clears the other guy because you don't find his note. But what would five be then? <laughs> 